I've got a new toy. Let's go put it together. So it's really nice right now with the sun out, but it's only two degrees and it was minus whatever this morning. And I've just noticed the wind down here has knocked over some of my pot plants, a wheelbarrow, my bins now down the lawn. So the wind's been pretty bad. There's <laughs> so much ice, so much ice on here. Fancy table, Blue Eddy charger. Now I haven't actually put this on for maybe like three or four weeks. So let's see how much, how much power it's held during that time. 85%. So that's pretty bloody good for something that hasn't been used at all in that amount of time. So I clearly haven't opened up this uh, solar panel yet. So it'd be interesting what comes of it. And I'll give you the hot tip. I've never used a solar panel before in my life. So we're all new to this. Uh, let's see how easy it is. Like the previous delivery we got with the generator itself, the packaging on this is really good. So you know that it's done really well through the transit period. I don't think I mentioned it, but over the last, what, six weeks, I have been so sick. For some reason, I've caught every plague going around. I thought I had COVID again. Tested, it wasn't COVID, but it was definitely some sort of bloody tragic flu. And then since I caught that, I feel like I've caught every bloody cough going around or every sniffle sickness. Uh, and I've just been feeling really bad, which is probably the main reason why we've had no videos go out. Because apart from working lots when I have been feeling all right, um, I've just been taking it easy and not doing anything because I've been so sick that I just need a time of nothingness. Ooh, it's got a really good handle. Check out this bag it comes in. Blue ID on the side. Look at Schmick, this is really awesome. There is... I'll pull the little instruction booklet out because no doubt I'll be needing that. So we've got the model PV200 solar panel. So I've got a, a booklet that tells me all about it and then I've got a warranty card to fill in as well. Now it's got a lot of details in here about the specifics of things. Um, it does say on here, uh, there's a bit of a Q&A section and one of the things here is, is it waterproof? In order to maximize the lifespan of the solar panel, please try not to get it wet or soak the solar panel into water. I've been putting off uh, doing this video because it's been raining every day. So I'm actually glad that I did that because it turns out that you probably shouldn't be leaving it out in the rain. I feel like it could probably get a little bit wet from a light bit of rain, but you'd probably want to not leave it out in it by the looks of this. So in our bag, we've got a little pouch, which has the jacks in it to plug into this. Oh, okay, I get what this is. This is to put the panel up on an angle. And then we unclip these to open it up. Jeez, this is so well made. So it's basically got four panels. Let's see if I can turn it up so you can see it. I haven't got the camera set up well for this, but it's got four panels here. And then it's got this bit here and this bit here so you can angle it out for 45 degrees to get yourself the most amount of sun that you can. I reckon we uh, put this together, put it in the sun, and then see how it goes when we come back after our little shopping trip today. So I don't have that angle going on that they're probably recommending. It says 45 degrees, so I'm sure I'm just being dumb. 
all right, I'm dumb, so I'm gonna have to go back and see how this thing hooks in. <laughs> okay, I was a little bit on the dumb side. I forgot how this thing is gonna plug in because it's been a long time since I looked at the book for the actual generator. So I went back to the booklet and it reminded me that I have this piece that came with the generator itself to plug in your solar panels. So this is what I was looking for to make this thing work. This is simple and stupidly obvious now. This bit is gonna go into the, the uh, generator itself and the other end, super simple. These bits connect together, male to female basically. So that's so, so simple to figure out now that I've actually got the right thing. And this bit plugs into here. Oh, and it's just lit up. So I can see that it's actually getting charged already. So, that's on 85% at the moment. We're gonna bugger off for a couple of hours uh, cause it takes me an hour to get to where we're going, an hour back and however long it takes me to do my shopping. Uh, and then we'll come back and see how this has gone during the day. Birds are loud today. took it out. Let's see how it went anyway. Well, it got to 100%, so that's good. So simple. Gotta love the people of Blue Eddy. So the main reason for our little trip uh, to Ballarat today was to get more timber because I need to keep building walls for the workshop behind me. So I've completed three of the walls now. Well, not 100% completed, but it's just about there. And then we're gonna put a ceiling in it and then we're gonna get the sparkies in um, to start roughing in, the plumbers in to start roughing in. I've also got timber to make walls on the other side so we can separate the middle and the side area here. Um, and then we'll just leave one third of it uh, as a bit of a store zone for materials and whatnot while we're building the rest. So uh, that's what's going on in here still. So Betty made it into the video. I actually got her to do a little walkthrough of this new area that we've achieved over the last couple of days, but the sound didn't work. So as I lead you around here, I'm gonna show Betty up in the corner doing the same thing. Enjoy. So since the last time we've uh, had a gander at this, all the beams have been attached up the top there. So the beams are actually made not just to create a ceiling for the space, but they're gonna be a floor as well. Uh, so they're made so we can put an extra storage zone up there. This first room I'm stepping into is the area where Betty's going to be doing her ceramics sort of works. I'm going to have a wheel for her to sit down here and work on some storage over here. And then I've also installed this door over the last couple of days. It's nice that that works. And then through the door into this back room is going to be where her kiln lives. So this room has to be really well set up for heat. Uh, so we're gonna use heat resistant plaster on the walls in here, and we're gonna have an exhaust fan as well to dispel some of the heat out of the room. Uh, we have to have special dimensions to keep clear of the unit, just so it doesn't cause any damage. Um, and at the back end, we're gonna have some shelving up here for her to store things in as well. Lastly, before we take off today, uh, I just wanted to tell you about a deal that Blue Eddy have going for the rest of the month of July. So we've got about two weeks left by the time this video comes out. Um, and it, all the details are here.
So Blue Idea are running this sale at the moment, a Prime Day sale. It's on for the rest of July and there's a whole bunch of good deals that you can grab. Lots of discounts on a whole bunch of stuff. So worth getting in there, checking out the website and seeing if you can find something to match what you need. Now Blue Eddy have actually given me a discount code to share with you guys. I'm going to put that on the screen right now. The offer is that you get an extra 50 bucks off for any order over a thousand bucks. So that is valid until the end of July. And the second thing is uh, you'll get a lifestyle t-shirt for every order over a thousand bucks as well. So two deals, just use this code and you'll be sweet. If you're interested in seeing a little bit more about this shed, you might like this video over here where we go through what happened in getting the shed built for us. And I'll tell you what, it was a bit of a journey. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. I reckon you'll enjoy it. See you next time.